All right, KSF back with another shoe review for you guys, and this is a banger of a sneaker, this one, in my humble opinion. And it is, of course, from the Pharrell Williams Collection. And it is one of the solar hues. He also dropped the MMDs and clothing. And the message was um, bold, powerful woman in our lives, basically. And he delivered this message pretty simply by just doing bold, powerful color blocking, which is really on brand for Pharrell Williams. So let's get into this. These are absolute bangers. Bam, there we go. There's a the box label. Now you can tell what color I picked there. You would have been able to tell from the thumbnail anyway. We get the boost box, there's some boost paper in it. The boost box we know and love, obviously no human race box with these ones like the MMDs. Hey, is what it is, but still love and know that boost box well. So love that big bowl, bam, boost, boost. Boost is a life. So I had a choice of scoring the yellow or the blue, and I went yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. And it turns out the yellow in Australia is an adidas.com exclusive, and there's no yellow round in the store, so maybe I should have gone the yellow first, then gone the blue. But bam, I picked the blue, and the reason being, look at the contrast between those light and dark blues. This one had the most popping contrast of all the colors in the solar hues. So this is the one we went for and love. That blue stretched web rubber from, of course, Continental. And we get the orange Continental branding up there. Looks dope, dope as. And of course, the light blue torsion bar and the boost poking through in the traditional white, which looks really, really awesome. Of course, on the midsole, we get light blue painted boost that looks absolutely freaking awesome. But however, we have quality control issues. We've got some paint chipping there and the painting near the torsion bar, which comes up on the heel here, is a bit messy. We're used to Adidas A plus quality. Just didn't deliver on this, but they rushed it out too fast. I'm I don't know, I've got no explanation for it. Let me know down in the comments below, how was your quality for these particular sneakers? If you scored any, or you know any friends that got them, how was their quality? Because I would expect that sort of quality on a Jordan Retro, but on a Adidas release, I would expect better. But hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna beat these to an inch of their life. I'm gonna heavily, heavily wear these, and these are gonna be an everyday rotation for me. Just really been dying to get my hands on some hues. So let's go through the mid, rest of the midsole. Of course, they're solars because they have that extra bit of foam for stability through um, the midsection. I don't know what foam it is. If you know what foam it is, put it down in the comments down below. So yeah, but it gives an extra stability, which I really, really like and adds to the comfort and feel of the shoe overall. Uh, one of my favorite features on this shoe is the heel cup. And if you have a look there, it's very, very iridescent. As soon as the light hits it or anywhere on the shoe, it's all about subtle contrast. We have a 3M, well, it seems like it's 3M mesh behind a nylon blue mesh there that when the light hits it, really, really pops. We have a 3M tab there. And it contrasts really, really well with this perforated design on the toe box. And you just see all the different contrasts between the materials. Easy if I just show you, even there, we've got a felt like material there. Just, just all about subtle contrast. We get the human race branding and the felt sort of wool sort of panel there. Even the neoprene with the foam in it for the eye stays is a different texture, different color, and just changes it up. But everyone complements the other. We have 3M backed, well at least I think it's 3M behind the perforations or shiny silver. So again, when the light hits those, I'll put a picture up here and you can see the reflective details of this shoe and just looks really, really dope throughout. Just the way Pharrell has really put the light and the darks together and the different panels of the shoe, just it's just really, really dope overall. And it, yeah. 
It looks way, way better in hand than it does on pictures. So I'll try and capture as much of this with the camera as possible. Of course, we get the Huey branding on the toe box, which of course does not stand for human, but health ultimatum. So, and the other cool thing is, if you look there, we get light blue laces, dark blue laces, so we can swap them in and out, change them up however we like. And the thing I really like about the laces, if you look there, you'll see the little lines. It has 3M details all through the laces, which you will see on the picture that I threw up. So overall, just a really, really dope design and glad to add these ones to the collection. So we get quite a good inner sole in these. Of course, it's got boost on it. Reasonably nice and thick and firm closed cell foam. Just a really nice inner sole, not as crappy as the usual Adidas inner soles that we get. So that is really, really cool. And sizing, go true to your Ultra Boost size, true to size for your Adidas size, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm a size 12 and Ultra Boost and I went size 12 in these, no problem. They're quite a nice, snug, firm fit but you won't have any issues if you stick to your Ultra Boost size. As always, try to get to a store and try them on. That is the best thing that you can do. But yeah, that is my advice on sizing. So let's go to an on foot and see how these bad boys look. <laughs> 